Hey guys, this is Joyce and Anthony aka JJ here and this is a short four frame animation of an African capoeira that I've been working on. For those that are not familiar, it's a martial art. And I just did this short animation because I wanted to play around with the timeline scrub and to do that I'm going to turn off onion skin and canvas so you guys can see it. Timeline scrub has been out for a while. I've just been late to the party. So to get to it, you go to edit, preferences, add-ons, and then I just typed in grease. And then you can see it, grease pencil tools. And then I'm just expanding it to show you. So the timeline scrub, and the default for me is alt middle mouse. And at the bottom, these are the colors. Again, you can change that to your liking. So right now I'm gonna click Alt and then press down my middle, middle click. And as you can see, that's the timeline scrub. And again, if you don't like the settings, you can go back to edit preferences and then make sure you're in grease pencil tools. So right now I have it on alt middle click. So I'm going to take the recommended to choose at least one modifier to combine with another. Okay. So I'm going to do control, I guess, but again, you don't have to do the recommendation. It's whatever you want. So I'm going to now click control middle mouse button. Yeah, this is my first time actually ever using Timeline Scrub. I think it's a cool feature. Now if I press in, you see all these grease pencil tools. And I kind of made a video about this a couple months ago. I think it was called five new features of the grease pencil add-on, but this is the more, I guess, updated version for Blender 2.93. And now I wanted to move on from the Timeline Scrub to another feature I've been playing around with. Um, thanks to the grease pencil team, is the grease pencil toolbox. So I provided the link in the description. So I have the folder on my desktop, I have the zip file, and then it's this really awesome tool. I'm just looking at the settings. So now if I get out of that and I press N again, it has all these features, not to be confused with the grease pencil tools. This is the toolbox and it just has all these features that I've been playing around with. I made a video about it because there's so many features on this that I'm not 100% sure, but of course mirror flip, I know that. And then this is kind of what the grease pencil add-on had. Zoom one, you can zoom to fit your screen. And then this one, I thought originally it was to make your like the outside of the camera view darker, but no, when you click on that, it will actually make like a like a short snippet of your video of your video so far. So as you can see, it's like this really quick and at the bottom it has like the frames, the time, like the timestamp. So that was a happy accident. And then after playing around with it, it's actually the, it's actually the, I have no idea how to pronounce that, but as you can see, <laughs> you can click on that to adjust the setting, the opacity of outside your camera view. And then of course, if you put it down to zero, it's completely white outside of the camera view. That's what you like. Okay. Oh, then you have the familiar onion skin. So another way to turn it on without going to the opacity tab at the top. Do -do -do -do. See again, I'm playing around with these settings. Okay, but there's also different sections so you have the toolbox you have the grease pencil clipboard and then you have the grease pencil I think that says line stopper so you can copy layers active so again I mean this toolbox is awesome of course I'm, I'm playing around with it still just trying to figure it out and of course I'll make a video when I'm like 100% certain and I can explain everything I'm getting there and again, I put the link to download the toolbox in the description. Hope you learned about the 
timeline scrub and this awesome new feature, the Grease Pencil Toolbox. This is Joyce and Anthony, aka JJ. Until next time.